friends, running kimono here. So I got about a hundred penny items today over at the Dollar General. Some sort of like surprise food penny list that just popped out of nowhere. Big shout out to Christy's Connections uh, and her team for this list. And um, from my understanding, guys, because you know I go really hard with the clearance event. A lot of these items are items that have been in the clearance section section since about March. It was March and um, May, those two clearance events. And if your store, you know, is super busy or, you know, it's a very rural store with one employee, you might hit the jackpot. So I would do this ASAP because it is food. People are going to go really hard on this, like right away. Like, why not? I want to give a very big and special thank you to Christie's Connections. Her and her team are always delivering these very unique penny lists. Uh, these ladies work around the clock on penny shopping. I will leave Christie's uh, YouTube channel in the notes if you wish to subscribe. Uh, with the price of food and everything going on in the world right now, if you can save a dollar or two, especially with food and snacks, make it happen. Christy said that in her video and I couldn't agree more. She is a friend of this channel and um, just terrific when she comes up with these lists. It really excites me and I, I love getting this stuff for a penny. So if you scan any of these barcodes and it appears like this 0.00, you bring it to the cash register, it should be ringing up for a penny. I have a video on how to use the Dollar General app. I will leave it at the very end. It's called, I think, like Game Changer or something, but very easy to do. And um, if you remember, some of this stuff in your store and you're like yeah I remember this uh, from the clearance event a couple weeks ago go and get them right away before the employees pull them off the floor and just to show you one of my receipts at this one store I got 38 penny items I mean I went really hard and I was not looking back and I went to four stores today and just under 100 food items and you're going to find these either in the clearance section or they might have an end cap with some of this food or it might be peppered like on a wire rack with more clearance stuff and it was just a whole lot of stuff. One store, you know, they pulled all the coffee, but they left all this stuff. And then another store, all of the crackers that I found had expired. So I just left them there. A Dollar General has the right if uh, the food has expired, they don't have to sell it to you. But I would, I just really, I mean, to get these sort of snacks and like K-cups and all this magic, I mean, it's absolutely terrific. So in this specific video, I'm just going to show you what to look out for. If you've been doing the clearance events with me and watching my videos, you probably have an, an idea like, oh, well, this is here in the store and da, 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 da. But scan everything that's food related in the clearance section. Um, even these little um, pistachios and the blue diamond almonds, I think they're shrinkflating the bags. So I just found these right at checkout at a couple stores and I got a ton of these. Um, just through the use of my brain and minimal intelligence, I was able to figure it out, um, just what the bags looks like. And I'll show you the UPCs in a second. This one's called Smokehouse. Here's the UPC. Look for this at the checkout lane. Because you know what, guys? Um, I think for a lot of these clearance events, they didn't pull everything. So that's how we were getting lucky. This is lightly salted. Any sort of nut that's lightly salted is something I really enjoy. And then we have the pistachio. They have a smaller bag and this larger bag. So this is the bag. If you love pistachios, you know, fantastic. I also found these honey roasted peanuts a penny. It doesn't get any better than that. One item I did buy that was expired and I didn't know it until I left the store were these lightly salted cashews. And I was so hungry in the car, guys. I was like, I really need a snack. So I actually cracked these open and they were so fresh. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to get like some, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen to me. They expired at the beginning of May, but they are like the freshest cashews I've ever had. So I don't know if I could put them in the freezer. A lot of you ladies who prep, let me know that, but I found like six of them and I'm keeping all of them. Lots of coffee, you know, definitely look that Best Buy date, um, French vanilla by Clover Valley. And I think they have the regular flavor too. look for it in the clearance section. And uh, lots of the employees have no idea about these items. This is probably my, my most favorite item. It's a uh, chocolate, chocolate chip IHOP coffee for a penny. And it doesn't expire until June. So if you have a choco chocoholic in the house, there's another uh, regular coffee, but it's this one specifically that you're looking for. You can't go off the menu with these UPCs and say, well, it looks similar. No, it has to be the exact UPC in the store, guys, or it's not going to ring up for a penny. I know that this zero sweetener calorie or zero calorie sweetener, one store near me, I think has like 
600 on a shelf. So I might go there later tonight and grab a couple. But yeah, that's fantastic. And, um, you know, with a lot of this stuff, because the expiry dates are, um, I think, like, a lot of it was June, because um, I looked at a lot of the expiry dates. Um, they're definitely going to just bin all of them. So grab all of them, donate them, put them, keep them for your family, do something with them. You know, quick expiry date, but you could still use them. I found a ton of these at every single store. It's some sort of uh, pistachio pub mix. It actually sounds quite delightful. And it doesn't expire until December. So that's a, a treat for me. And it's also low carb. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then I found, I think, like eight bags of these different popcorns. One is nacho and one is uh, salt and butter. So, and they expire in June as well. So they have a quick expiry date. So this uh, penny list does make sense that, you know, they were like, this is what we're going to do. Um, but uh, the fact that this happened on a Friday, I mean, I got my shoes on and I ran right away. And I still want to go look for more of this food because it's absolutely fantastic. I only found one of these. It's a candy pop. They have a smaller bag on the regular shelf, but it's bringing up full price. This one is a penny. And it is... 5.25 ounces guys pay attention to every little detail i found quite a few of these it's a hot and spicy whole cashew i wonder if that's low carb i'll have to double check it doesn't expire till i think august on my bags but double check because uh the employees have the rights to say um they can't sell it to you if it expired and all of those um Clover Valley crackers uh, that we were finding at the clearance event the last many times they all expired so i just left them all at the store and then we have the cookies and cream trail mix. That sounds delightful. If it was low carb, I would keep all of them, but it's not. And as many of you know, I canceled my Costco membership. So uh, I have very few snacks in the house. So this is a whole bunch of snacks and it's not a bunch of candy bars and stuff that's going to expire next week. It's a lot of nuts with a shelf stable life. And I'm wondering if I can put some of these nuts in the fridge that have a quick expiry date. Uh, if you can let me know in the comments down below, the ladies who prep, I would be so, so grateful. But, uh, you know, it's a little bit of everything. If you like snacks, like it's just fantastic. And this penny list really excites me because a lot of us are struggling with the grocery budget. Food is so expensive right now. It's just absolutely astronomical. So when you can get a table like this, I think altogether it was like a dollar two guys. I got more than 102 pennies and like a like a dollar two. That's unheard of. It's like I won the couponing Olympics or something like that. I would certainly make a list of all of the stores in your area. Check the barcodes. Is stuff in stock? Yes or no? Do you remember any of the stuff at that last clearance event at, like a week ago on a shelf? Go guys right now because uh, somebody might beat you to the store and of course they're going to clear everything. Who wouldn't? Good luck in the comments down below. Let me know if you score big and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.